Are you interested in building lithium batteries? Do you have a lithium battery, something like this or the one I just showed you? Do you have one of these to balance it? If so, you may have noticed that whenever you connect this all together, this guy is on all the time. So one thing about these is they have a little run switch over here. It's basically two copper tabs that are soldered together. So theoretically, all you have to do is break the solder and put a switch between the two. So then when you mount it on the side of the battery, you just have a toggle switch. You could turn it on and off. I've seen that method from a guy named Milo John, pretty cool guy. But I don't know if I'm about all that. So I devised another method, actually two methods. The first method of which is to get something like this right here. It's a little DC relay and putting it on the board. If you simply glued it on the board right there, run some wires, basically run two wires there, one to the negative, and it'll give you one positive wire that you can send to any positive 12 volt switch source in the whole truck, like the ignition, remote wire, another switch, etc. But I thought that was kind of big and bulky, so I had a better way. Introducing the transistor. This little guy right here is very small, and what it is, it's basically an electronic relay. This one here is a 2N3904, and all it did was bend the little legs up like that, solder it onto those two, and that one in the middle, that little leg right there, you run into a resistor. This is a 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, so about 5,000 ohms. Then you put that resistor in line with the center pin right here, and you send it to 12 volts. So here's that same circuit in a working condition. You see my little resistor on the board right there. I put some E6000 on it to kind of just hold it together and stop any vibrations or anything. And then all I have is this little wire coming out, a red wire. So theoretically, once I mount this, you know, however I want to do it on there, I still have this red wire. The light comes on. So now it's running and charging and I can hear a faint high pitched whine tell me that it's working. The same high pitched whine that is coming on whenever it's plugged in directly. So whether you use one of these or one of these, try it out. If you need another method of connecting these without having a, a switch or whatever, say you put this under the hood, how are you going to control that? You're just going to let it run all the time? I know it doesn't pull a lot of power, but if it sits for a while, it can be problematic. So that's it. That's my little trick right there. Transistor and a resistor. That's all you need to be able to turn this into a slave unit with no switch.